Hey guys, welcome back. Just a quick one today. I want to show a video because I, I had to do some time researching this. Um, how I get my PDFs or other book formats converted to, to run on my Kindle. As you can see, there's my Kindle. Uh, I have it connected to my PC, my Linux machine uh, via USB. So this is not necessarily Linux specific, but it, it definitely could be. So you can see I downloaded a book here. I'm just going to drag it into Calibre. Now, if you don't, or Calibra, Calibre, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm sure somebody on the comments will correct me. But I just, I have this, uh, this book I downloaded, Linux System Administration, just to show as an example, right? Because this is a Linux type video, but I probably honestly won't even read this book, so I'll just delete it afterwards. But as you notice, um, well, first, let's back up. First, you got to download this software, Cal Calibra, uh, Calibre. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, like I said. So download that. It's in the software manager. Um, it is a, a common open source software for eBooks specifically. So go ahead and download that. Get it up and running. As you notice, sometimes when your PDFs come in, it's backwards, right? It's got the, the um, author where the title is. And it's got the title where the author is. So one thing you can do is edit metadata, right? And you can go and say, copy this piece off, control C, come back into the title. You can see the point is that you can, you can fix this, right? Um, I'll just do this real fast. Um, I, I usually just hit control A in here, delete and then paste it in. So my point is easy to fix metadata, right? Um, and then your title and author show fine. Now you notice this right here on device, this column, right? Um, that's gonna let you know if that book is on, on your e-reader device. That's, that's kind of important when you know what's on it and what isn't. One important thing here is I think formatting on PDF was always been funky on the Kindle, right? I've always had trouble with, um, you know, the text being too small. You can't make it bigger. You have to scroll back and forth this way. It's just total pain, right? So one thing you're going to want to do to get around that is you're going to want to right click this and you're going to go to send to device and then go down here, send specific format to the main memory of the Kindle, right? So click that and when it comes up, it shows these options. So right now I only have this available in PDF, but Mobi being the Amazon format, I'm gonna say, let's do it in a Mobi. And I'll say, okay, so you can tell by clicking and highlighting, right? So I say, okay, and you can convert to following books before uploading. Yes, I do wanna do that. And now down here, the jobs come in and we're gonna let this spin for a second. And it's going to have a message up here and tell us when it's done. There it is. Converting book completed. Sending book to device. Now you see I have it on device. So now I can go into my Kindle and I'll see, I'll see if I can switch the camera, show you what that looks like. Okay, guys, for some reason my desktop camera just stopped working on me. So we'll figure that out later. First thing I'm going to do is eject my Kindle from my PC. And that's just like ejecting a USB drive. And I'm going to pull this out and then I'm going to take it to my home page and I'm going to try to show you via this camera if you'll be patient with me for one second. Now, this is going to be tough for you guys to see, but this first book right here, that's the Linux System Administration one that I just downloaded. I'm going to click it and then it says it's opening and we're going to be patient. And here you can see title page. So I'm going to click next. And there you can see, see how the format is so much better. Normally in the PDFs, it'll show up like that title page where it's just a small little section there. But uh, let me, my everything's backwards for me, sorry. But you can see I have the normal uh, settings in Kindle. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. So if I, if I click the font, I can say large. I can say large. And then we're going to get rid of the settings and you can see it auto adjusts. Look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing that you can do that on a PDF and yet you can do it so easily. Um, 
If so if you have special PDFs in there and you want to send them to your Kindle and you want to read them, this is just, I found the best way for me to do it. I, I, do you guys know anything about this? Do you do it differently? Let me know. Leave a comment below. But how cool is that? We can actually get that different um, font setting and everything with a PDF where before it just looked like almost like a scanned image. And when you zoom it, you'd have to do that crazy scroll back and forth. Anyway, guys, just that quick one today. Um, now, I don't know how this is going to work with graphics and such. I'm going to keep uh, looking into this and, and try to improve on it. But this was uh, just one thing I want to get out there and share. As I use Linux and deal with my Kindle, uh, it's another one of those Linux type videos that, you know, on Windows, this may be easier. I don't know. I don't have Windows, and I'm proud of that. So that's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.